Okay, so let me try to go over this without getting killed. Uh, this is an overview of an expatter profile. Oh, let's get right into it. Basic things, movement. Movement's all mapped to the left stick, camera to the right. Duh. So kind of a mid-hold is the crouch. Hold, you know, for like half a second. Then half, half a second again to go all the way down. Tap it twice to come back up. Or, if you're already up high and you want to get down quick, just hold it. You're going to go all the way down. In XPatter, what we have there, you can see it's a little complicated. The tap is uh, the left shift, which was the stand. Medium hold is control, which is just to go down to a crouch. And then a long hold is two quick control taps. I had to put this little bit of a break in there just because if I put it in twice, it was it's too quick. Like the game couldn't read the input that fast, so I had to give it a little bit of a gap. Left stick click would be run, which makes a lot of noise, but we'll do it. Okay, so I'm running. Oh, shit. Then I crouch. <laughs> so that worked out. As soon as I started running, I heard something. Shit. Left on the D-pad is a settler mate. Holding it will be for the uh, emote menu, which isn't in there yet, but I'm reserving it for that. It's T. So we can see here in advanced settler mate then hold it goes to T so you can adjust those to be whatever you want I just like I know, I know this is kind of tedious and boring but I like to go over some of the details in XPatter so you understand some of this if you want to change it up and down on the d-pad will be zooming in for a scope which I don't ha <clears throat> I don't have right now but can show you here so up and down zooms in uh, right on the d-pad is throw rock to distract any dinos in your way hold it is a uh, space that's just for you know for here so we could enter into the photo mode the right bumper tap it that gives us our free look that toggles it into the free look tap it again to go back hold it that goes to the camera mirror mode hold it to go back triangle or Y on a 360 controller will be tap it for weapon 1 hold it for weapon 2 so tap to go back to weapon one, tap the left trigger to go aim down sight, hold left bumper to hold breath. And then right trigger would fire uh, square or X on a 360 controller, tap it to use or interact and search, hold it to reload. Circle or B is for your inventory. Hold it to holster whatever you have out. Uh, X or A is a cycle between your items. Tap it for three. Hold it for four. Select. Tap it for the auto walk. So now you're just heading wherever you want to go. Hold it to see the uh, server stats which I've done nothing because I'm just trying to show this off. But yeah, I mean, this feels perfectly playable with the controller. I don't feel at any kind of a disadvantage. Everything's in there. Uh, I think that's it. I just wanted to go over the basics and show you some of the stuff happening under the hood. So, you know, if you want to change any of it, you can. But there you go. Playing... The Hunter Primal with a controller. See you around.